The second key of faith is trust in what God said in the face of what God has not done yet. Has anybody here has some things God has not done? No hand raising because I don't want no hands raising because we don't want all the hands to go off. I think every single person in this room this is where the challenging of faith is is when you are walking with God and there are things God doesn't do. What it does to our faith typically it destroys your faith. You ask once or maybe you prayed for someone or maybe you believed for something and you don't see it happen or maybe you tithe and you see all these miracles you're like not happening in my life it's just not getting better you see the testimony someone saying that they got healed and and your situation maybe progresses you see you know a testimony of someone else being you know depressed and they got free and you recognizing that for you this is just not happening and so what happens is that many times when we are surrounded by what God has not done what it tends to do is it tends to cripple and it tends to shake and break our faith to the foundations where we just give up and we just live with God and we say you know what Lord Jesus does not do any miracles people go as far as to create a doctrine that miracles ended with the death of apostles. But Mary has faith Jesus is going to do something. Where did she get that faith? Because long time ago, 30 years before the wedding, Gabriel came into the room and Gabriel said this, the child you are gonna have will be supernatural and he is the Messiah and she experienced something in her body that wasn't natural and after that she believed in the word Gabriel spoke that even she did not see Jesus do a one miracle she went back to the words spoken by the archangel and she said to herself even if I will live 70 years and I will not see one miracle this boy is not normal Jesus this is Messiah and he will do wonders and he will change things in this world Do not let your faith be destroyed by what God has not done. 